In this video, we're going to look at the overlap of the three functions within the separation of powers. Sometimes, you'll be asked to comment on how the separation of powers works in practice. The question might ask you to evaluate or discuss how the separation of powers works. This means that you must talk about how the powers in reality are not totally separated, and give your opinion on whether you think this compromises the principle as a whole. There is overlap between all three functions. Firstly, the Governor-General holds executive power, but in reality this power rests with the government of the day. Remember that the Governor-General and the government are also members of Parliament, which has control over the legislative function, the power to make law. Secondly, there is overlap with the judiciary. The Governor-General, acting on advice of the Attorney-General, appoints justices of the High Court, so they decide who has the power to apply the law. That means that the Governor-General and the Attorney-General have power in all three arms within the separation of power. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide how much you think this overlap has the potential to corrupt the legal system. Thanks for watching, and happy studying.